I train every day of my life as they have never trained a day in theirs. <laughs> So we're here at the gym now and we're going to be training just like Alexander. And after seeing his footage, it looks pretty scary. Alexander famously said, I train every day of my life as they have never trained a day in theirs. Alexander, we're about to put that to the test. Oh yeah. So the first two things we're gonna be doing is the penetration step drills and it is going to be paired up with the box jumps. Now, penetration steps are a useful move in wrestling. So these drills are just getting and programming you to know what you're doing and nice get that powerful and explosive, you know, lower body, glutes, all that kind of stuff. And the same goes with the box jumps as well. A lot of glutes, a lot of power. So we're gonna be doing these two together. And this is really just the warm up. This is just to get us primed for the actual workout. I've never done the penetration step. I'm a little wary, but regardless, we gotta do this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. It is always so humbling to do a physical activity that you've never done before. No matter how much you learn, you always learn there's so much more to learn. I need to learn next time to bring longer pants. Yeah, safety first. Now we're just doing some band work now. It's really just a warm up, getting the shoulders warmed up. Gives that nice accommodating resistance, a little bit more low impact. Obviously we're going very light, high reps. Kind of just getting everything limber. And because uh, we got some a little bit more intense shoulders later on. Kind of unique exercise, really, most of these are, which is so great. Something that we don't do very much, something that you don't see in the gym very much, so these next two exercises, I think, are gonna be pretty killer. When you are challenging your endurance, pairing up certain movements, but then also adding a lot of weight to it as well, it's really spiking that heart rate. Wrestling is a lot about strength, it's a lot about power, but it's also the endurance, it's the conditioning. Make sure you can outlast your opponent, or you don't gas too quickly. That's why this is so effective. It's training you to work through those heart rate spikes, keep going, cardiovascular system, but also your musculature system too. Both of those systems working together. And man, whew, yeah. When you've won close to 900 wrestling matches, every day you have to train like it is your hardest and most intense day because you never know who your next opponent may be. Father time is always nagging, nipping at our heels. You gotta train harder the older you get. So that can be the tough thing, especially as an athlete. And no matter what, you gotta be training harder than the other guy. <laughs> you know, know how right? hard he's training, yeah. so you gotta push it even and he, further. And he's training damn hard. <laughs> yeah. You know, with this farther range of motion, balance really comes into play as well. Because not only is your center of gravity changing substantially, you really got to make sure that your feet are firmly planted on there because the last thing you want to do, lose your balance, fall off the boxes. There's a lot going on in this exercise. Uh, there's a lot of posterior chain in that one. Tell the wrestlers they need it and go for those, you know, try to those tosses, those throws. A lot of hamstrings, a lot of glutes, back, biceps. Oh, in this case, shoulders as well. These two movements. Oh, that's wicked. Alexander was known for the Carolyn lift, named after himself. Absolutely you can helpless. see that footage, man. <laughs> he just bear hugging them like this, and they're just flailing around, and nothing they could do, you know, it's scary. And these are 300 pound men, yeah. and they look absolutely helpless. So, this guy was a beast, he was a grizzly bear. Yeah, which brings us on to our next exercise, the Zercher deadlifts. Oh no. We are familiar with the Zercher squat, but have never tried this variation, the Zercher deadlift. Uh, it's not something typically you would see, but again, wrestlers do a lot of atypical things. And the Zercher deadlift is definitely one of those movements. It is very much a hamstring, lower back, lats, biceps. You're holding the barbell in the crook of your arms, and you're going in that really bent over position and pulling uh, with the back, the lower back, and really pushing with the legs. So we're gonna try this out. I've never performed it before. Uh, now, <laughs> man, I got sore just watching that. Yeah, how was that form? You might notice that lower back is pretty bent. Very compromised position. Oh my God, how did you even get your arms in this Be very flexible. It actually look good. You know, it's a lot of bend or flexion in your thoracic spine area, which is typically okay. The thoracic spine is more of the mobile, um, you know, area of your spine. It's your lumbar spine you have to be careful of. 
these are a little little iffy, a little tricky. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for everyone. And again, you can always switch it up where you're doing more of an RDL rather than a full deadlift. I was about to say, I have an ab cramp like you wouldn't believe right now. Is <laughs> it? Just show it. Probably popping out. That is very. Well, at least now I have at least now I have a permanent ab. I don't even got to flex anymore. It's just there. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. That extra range of motion, that below parallel. It is taxing, but I gotta be honest, I love the way that one feels. Sometimes it's nice to add that little bit of variation on a classic exercise, and the blow parallel push-ups are an amazing variation. I feel the sweat. Oh man, it's like a waterfall right now. Ah, your calves, man. It's not just the upper body. Going in that full squat, exploding, it's, it's everything. Get that full extension. Boom! So throw it as far as you can. God, that takes a lot of energy. Full body movement. We are we are training at about a quarter of Alex's normal day right now. So a quarter of a percent. <laughs> It'll up the volume a little bit. You know, you try to get in the minds of these guys and I think one thing that makes the biggest difference is they knew that they were gonna be facing an opponent at the end of their training. So the harder they trained, the more prepared they would be to face someone. Right now, of course, we're training just to see how difficult it is, but if you knew you're gonna face a guy that is training just as hard as you, or maybe harder, you don't know, you would be very motivated to train as hard as you possibly can so you would not lose. We're on to the final exercise. I get to take a little bit of a vacation, at least for a moment, because we're gonna be doing the partner carry. Yeah, I mean, one of the things about the training, you gotta be able to control your opponent, and uh, this exercise is gonna be working on that. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was harder than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> you give me a nasty like, rug burn, man. I'm sorry. My abs are like, yeah, yeah. Just get all that sweat all over you. It's like, damn, that was, pretty, that was pretty tough, man. I felt like I was a child and I was in trouble again or something. Like my dad was taking me out of my room. It's not easy carrying yeah. someone that's, you know, 200 plus pounds and that's just, you know, full muscle. You're in timeout, son. Yeah, I know. You're staying there for 15 minutes. I don't want to hear any lip. It's kind of it's <laughs> weird being manhandled by an, another man. <laughs> it really it is. is odd. Like, I'm a grown adult. <laughs> you can't you can't treat me that way. I kind of felt a little offended when he was carrying me. Yeah. You're not used to being kind of put somewhere against your will. <laughs> you're not used to someone physically lifting you and saying you're going there. Yeah. And Alex did it all the time. Oh yeah, he spades 887 times. Jesus Christ, out. yeah. So, there we go. Yep. That was the Alexander Carolyn workout. This is, I mean, it doesn't really need to be said, but this is one of the hardest workouts I've done in a long time. Oh yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it was a lot of fun in the way of just trying new things, kind of testing your ability, your limits, and it definitely did that in many different ways. You've got the physicality of it, which is hard enough, but then you have a little bit of the unknown waters of like the penetration step. It was the first time we've both ever done it. It can be a little bit of a ding to your ego a little bit <laughs> yeah. because you feel kind of unsteady in what am I doing? It's a lot but, of technique, yeah. you know? I mean, yeah. a lot, that's why they just train just day after day. They're just getting, they're programming their brains to just, when you're against someone else, you don't even have to think, yep. you just do it. Your body's yeah. programmed, so. So thank you, Mr. Carolyn, for all your excellent matches, yeah. and thank you for this workout. It kicked our ass. Oh yeah.